Hi, I'm Jamie Mallon, Certified Professional Ergonomist and Consultant here at Human Tech. And over the last few months, we've done a series of HT whiteboards on leading change. And it's based on this book called Leading Change by John Cotter. Previously, we've talked about the eight-step process that he uh, employs to lead change in organizations. The first step was creating a uh, sense of urgency for your change. The second is to create a guiding coalition. In the chapter, he talks about the different approaches to leading change. And one of them is to be on your own, the go it alone approach. That can work, it can. The key is that you're extremely powerful in your organization. You are extremely knowledgeable and smart about the activity that you're trying to change. And you're a shrewd political player. You can get a lot, you can build consensus and get people to support what you're doing. All of those things also mean that it's gonna take a lot of time. And in today's world of change and interconnectedness, that doesn't really work anymore. So he favors the task force approach. But he also talks about, you know what, you have to have the same characteristics within that group as this individual did. You have to have enough power in the organization to get people to pay attention. You have to be very, very knowledgeable about the topic and be an expert in the field. You also have to be credible. You have to be a person who is known for getting things done. The other thing he talks about is that you need a mixture of leaders and managers. You can't have just one. You have to have leaders and managers. I always say leaders are the person who are on the bow saying we're going this way and managers are the ones to figure out how you actually get there. You have to have both. You also have to create a sense of trust in that group. Okay, and you got to have the right people. So you have to avoid some characteristics. And the characteristics that he calls out as the most poisonous are people who have big egos, people who are reluctant players, or people who are snakes people who undermine the activity without even realizing it, or perhaps they do realize it. He says you gotta get rid of them, you can't have them. Once you have them, you can ha develop a sense of trust and therefore get the team to work together and have very good teamwork as you go forward towards your, your end point. And that's the next step. You gotta now say, which way are we going? And then determine how we're going to get there. And that's step three, where we create a vision and the strategic imperatives that are necessary to execute on that vision. And I'm going to cover that next time. Until then, I'm Jamie Mellon. Look forward to talking to you soon, and uh, we'll see you in about three weeks. Bye now.